If you could buy a keyboard for just three pounds, would you buy one? And would it be any good? Well, I've done exactly that, so I guess we should probably find out, right? How's it going, people? Bamproof is back, here I am, and today I've got this orange package down here in front of me, and it's from Timu, or Temu, Timu, Temu, I don't know which one it is. It's one of the two, right? But inside it is a mechanical gaming keyboard that cost three pound. There's a couple of other random bits in there too, because you had to spend 10 pound to get shipping, right? because it kind of caught me off guard. But you might have seen it. You've been scrolling through Facebook, Twitter, whatever, advert. Timu, gaming keyboard, three pound. And you're like, it piques your interest, right? So anyway, I ended up installing the app, buying a keyboard, finding out you had to spend 10 pounds, so adding some other random junk onto it, basically. And here it is, about a week, week and a half later, it's arrived with me here. And so pretty quick shipping. Um, they also guarantee that if it doesn't get to you by a certain date, they'll credit you five pounds. So not bad considering it comes from China. Obviously, it comes from China, right? So I don't know. I've been using a mechanical keyboard for ages now. I've had the same one for like 10 years, maybe more. I had a cherry red switch keyboard originally, and I swapped it for the same keyboard in cherry blue um, after trying it out and thought I preferred blue. So I got rid of the red, and then not long after that, I realized... I preferred the red, right? So, um, I've ended up sticking with it because it cost like 150 pound at the time or something, whatever, that was, which 10 years ago seemed crazy for a keyboard. Nowadays, I know you can spend hundreds and hundreds and it's, it's just what you do, right? But what about three pound? What about three pound? I mean, the only way we're gonna find it is to take a look at it. So, that's a little bit of background from me. I've, used, I've only ever used Cherry MX Red, Cherry MX Blue switches before. This is obviously not gonna have those in, but apparently it is mechanical. But the big thing about this was, I'm thinking of buying a new keyboard. Mine's disgusting. It's got a rubberized coating on it, and it's just gone sticky. Do you know that rubberized coating when it just goes sticky out of nowhere? And it, you can't, it doesn't matter what you do. You can clean it, you can wipe it, you can dry it, you can do whatever you want, but it doesn't make no difference. It's still just fucking sticky, right? So I'm gonna be buying a new keyboard anyway, and I'm thinking of building one, I don't know. I've only ever used a full layout keyboard with a numpad and like 100% keyboard, right? I've never had a 60%, 70%, 75%, whatever the millions of different options are, right? So this one's a 60% keyboard, so I can at least try the size out and see if I get along with it. It is a US layout, I think, rather than a UK layout, so that would be different too. But um, more than anything, I thought it'd make a good video, so let's stop messing around. Let's open up the package and see what's inside and go from there. I'm gonna need a knife. Let me find a knife. Knife, knife. Where's a knife? A knifey. Where are you? Um, I can't find a knife. I tidied my room up the other day and I had about three knives and I can't find them anywhere. I shouldn't tidy, that's the problem with tidying. Aha, a knife. We found a knife, guys, so let's get into it and check it out. I'm gonna cut it open from this side. So it's a secret for you guys, right? <laughs> Suspense. All right, let's see what else is in here first. There's probably some paperwork with my details on, which I'll get out of the way. Bloody well wrapped up in there, I'll tell you that much. Oh, you're kidding me. You are kidding me. Okay, we're back. An alarm went off. I woke up earlier than my alarm today. Look at that. Not easy to open. Not easy at all. It's just wrapped in plastic, but it's proper wrapped. And I'm also trying to not cut any of the things that are inside, right? So let's try to pull a few things out. What do we got? We got some Velcro strap stuff for tying cables together. That's helpful, right? I had to make the money up and I needed cable management, so I thought, why not? It's super cheap on there, right? I got a package, which I'm not sure what it is. 50-50 um, SMD strip, so, oh yeah, so this was like, it's a one meter, I don't know if it'll be any good. Everything's just in bags, by the way. It comes with a remote, by the looks of it, and a USB cable. And this should be, Sh 
just not real, right? The LEDs are proper spaced apart as well. It's, it's not great. It's a one meter LED strip. Um, it costs like one pound or something, but yeah, it's just raw LED, which I can't even get off. Um, it's got a plug on the end, and by the LEDs, look how far apart those LEDs are. We'll see what it's like. Irrelevant to this video anyway. I was just making money up. I was just making money up. Um, then we've got more Velcro straps for cables. We've got these little like rubbery things that you can stick on or under a desk and link cables into. Cable management is good, right? Um, we've got another one of those things, but a slightly different shape and size. We've got a third one of those things. And we've got a pair of Michael Myers socks. Because who doesn't want a pair of Michael Myers socks, right? <laughs> They're actually not bad. I thought they were going to be really cheap feeling. I mean, they, the quality's not great, right? It's sort of not ideal. There's some weird marks on it, right? They're, they don't look great, to be honest, but... Michael Myers is Laura's favorite superhero. So we got her some Michael Myers socks. And that leaves only one thing in the packet. So now I can safely hack the package up a bit more to get it out, right? There we go. A Mage G, Mage G, Mage G, Mage G. It's, there's more weight in the box than I thought, to be honest. It feels heavier than I thought. I expected it to just be a really hollow, empty mess, do you know what I mean? But it's the Mage G Star 61 Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. Uh, everything else written on the box is in Chinese. No, it isn't. We've got some more information on there, right? What have we got? What have we got? System support. The device is connected with a Type-C. So it's got removable Type-C, which is crazy, for three pound. Just bear in mind that the keyboard is actually 20 something pound, but if it's your first purchase on Teemu, you get 90% off one item, and that was one of them, so you can get it for three pound, but um, if you want to make it your first purchase, I'm sure you can find a way with a Gmail account to make it your first purchase, right? So it's three pound. It's compatible with Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows ME. Fascinating stuff. Product model Star 61, gaming keyboard, manufacturer, Dongwan Xuanling Electronic Technology Company. Website www.magegear.com. So, yeah, fairly basic. The box feels weird. It almost looks like cardboard that's just normal cardboard being colored in with a black marker pen. Like, <laughs> the way it looks, like, but let's have a look at the keyboard. Let's see. Look, we'll find out together. We'll find out together. I'm sure it's going to be absolute trash, but let's see. We might be pleasantly surprised. Okay. It's in the box. It's wrapped in something. I can feel keyboard keys. Comes up. So, so look, it's not completely empty feeling. Like, if it doesn't, the weight of it is more than I thought. I suppose when you put, is there anything else in here? What else do you get? Okay, so you get a USB-C cable and one of those Velcro cable ties that I've just bought a million of. So that's handy, right? I can reuse that. <laughs> but you get a, a USB-C cable. Is it very long? It's fairly long. It's wingspan. I'm not the tallest of people. So it's what? Five feet, maybe? One and a half meters? It's okay. You then get some spare red keycaps. There's a space bar, shift, and some other keys, delete, arrow keys. So it's like keys that you might want to swap, right? Um, another, oh, that's the one I just took off. I thought I'd got another velt, I got excited. I thought there was another Velcro cable tie in there, but it wasn't. Uh, and then you get a keycap puller as well. Beep, beep, beep. And a box. The, let's get the box to one side. 
me just clear this desk up a little bit, right? Clearing up the desk involves grabbing everything and just throwing it on the floor beside me, by the way. Instruction manual is completely not in English. Okay, there is English. Let's have a quick look. Function key switch, you press FM. And numbers, home, delete, page up, page down. There's function and those buttons. Print screen is function and Y, because it's obviously a small layout keyboard, all right? Uh, and then function, slow down, speed up, Compound key operation instructions. Brightness increase, brightness reduction. I don't understand. I guess it's the backlight, but I don't know what slow down and speed up means. But we'll figure it out together. Um, it's a keyboard. How complicated can it be, right? Anyway, the main event of the evening. Let's have a look. Do you see it? Look. <laughs> There it is. It's tiny. It's, I like the size, right? Compared to my, I'm looking at my full keyboard, which is over there. Um, obviously it's a 60% keyboard. It's, so it doesn't have arrow keys, right? So arrow keys are here, which is weird. Your arrow keys are there, 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 and there. So I, look, I don't think I'd ever, just based off that, I thought it had arrow keys from the listing. I thought it was like a 70%, 70, 65%, right? But it's not, it's a 60. Um, so you have no arrow keys. I don't think I could get used to that, to be fair. And it is obviously US layout, so we don't have a pound sign on the three. Um, but it sounds, it sounds weird, right? There's some sort of resonance in there where it's going bing, bing, bing. I don't know if you can hear it. I'll put the mic next to it. Could you hear that? It's like ding, 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 ding. Oh, I've just accidentally fired up my computer um, by pressing the keyboard. That's a thing, apparently. I didn't know that. How does that happen? My computer was turned off, and I pressed the keyboard, and now it's turned on. Okay, well, that's gonna mess my lighting up because all the monitors are gonna come on, but like, let me be honest, first impressions here. It doesn't have any legs to raise it, but I like the angle of it. It feels okay. The size, shape, and angle of it, and it feels, it's not heavy, but it's more solid than I thought. Like, it's, there's a little bit of flex to it, but honestly, it, it sounds more solid than I thought. I don't know if it's the switches or the body that's making it make that ringing sound. The switches don't feel that bad. They're stiffer than the blue, but my blues are old, right? Um, it, it's very springy, it's springy. I think it might be the springs. I don't, I don't know, I'm not an expert on mechanical keyboards, right? But I'll be honest, first impressions is way, way better than I thought, right? Way better than I thought. I thought it was just gonna be trash. Now, I mean, it remains to see if it actually works, but we'll find that out in a second. But first impressions just by looking at it, like, it's not bad, it's not bad. Uh, it's instantly confirmed that I couldn't use a 60% keyboard though. I'd need to get the 65% with the arrow keys on it. Um, so that's cleared that up at least, which is, it was worth three pound, right? Because if I'd spent a lot of money on a 60%, I'd not been happy with it. Um, yeah, I mean, there's like around the edges where the joins are, it's a bit, a bit rough. Like it's all enclosed in. Like the only screw I can see is in the middle of the keyboard, which is really weird. I don't know if you'd be able to see it, but like in between there, there's a there's a keyboard, um, a screw. Um, I'm guessing that's how you can get into it. I've seen lots of people modding keyboards, right? So maybe you could take it apart and do something to get rid of that sound. Or maybe with time it leads up, but to, look, the space bar is fairly solid. Like it, honestly, I'm I'm surprised that it's actually as good as it is. 
but I need to find out if it works. So I'm going to move the cameras around and everything, get it on the desk, and we'll actually check it out at the computer. While I'm moving things around, here's my desk. You can see the size difference between the 60% and the full size that I've been using, and you can also see just how absolutely disgusting my old keyboard is from where the rubberized stuff, like, can you see it in there? Look, do I really want to show you that close? Look at that, like the rubbery coating has just gone sticking. It doesn't matter what you do, you can't get it clean. But yeah, that's, that's why I'm desperate for a new keyboard. And this will help me decide what I need, right? Okay, so here I am at my actual desk. I've got the keyboard in front of me. We're gonna plug it in and see what happens. We'll, do, we'll find out together. Um, apologies for the lighting. I'm not really set up for shooting from this angle, so it's a bit weird, but hopefully it looks okay and doesn't look absolutely awful. Um, we've got the cable that came with it. We're gonna use everything that came with it, right? I've got some nicer USB braided cables and stuff, but I'm gonna use this one because that's what came with it, right? So we're gonna plug that into the PC first of all, and see what happens when we plug it in, see how many viruses we get or don't get. I don't, I'm sure you don't get, I don't know, but I'm sure there's no viruses, right? Um, maybe, I don't know. Like it's a Chinese cheap ass keyboard, right? Uh, and then yeah, the plug on the back here, we'll just plug that straight in, USB-C. Not the nicest feeling USB socket I've ever plugged into. Uh, and the keyboard has illuminated. There we go, right? It's, it's a keyboard, it's, it's illuminated. I don't know if you can see it on camera very well. Um, apparently function, I don't even know what the fun, function plus this one makes it brighter or dimmer. Okay, so that's dimmer. Is that coming across? Does it even look like it's illuminated? Function and down makes it dimmer and that makes it brighter. Now I can see, it's kind of like an icy blue backlight. It's not a horrible color actually. It's not your normal blue color. Um, it fits well with the black and gray. Um, and it's been detected. I heard the keyboard, I heard the boom on Windows when I plugged it in, right? So it's working. Now it's on top of a mat. It doesn't sound, it sounds a bit better, but there's definitely still this ding, 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 ding sound coming out of it, right? And the Windows key does nothing. So is the keyboard even working? I'm not sure. Oh, there we go, it works. The Windows key works, right? So that works. Um, I guess we try typing on it, right? Oh, the enter key. American enter key is weird, right? <laughs> I'm not used to that not being there. That's really strange. There's also another, what does this do? Okay, then you've got the, you've got, ah, you've got different light functions. Oh, so you can make it so it lights up as you press the buttons. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna bring my phone in here to try and show you this. I don't know if it will show, look. As you press the buttons, they light up. That's not bad, is it? So there's different options, right? Um, this key is what adjusts it. So that's a, like fading across kind of thing. Maybe I'll get some B-roll of these. It might be better, right? Gonna go line by line. Don't know what this one is. Random zones lighting up by the looks of it. Look, look. Is this like a fade in, fade out? We've got lots of options, right? I don't know what that one is. Oh, we're back to the, they light up when you press it. So I don't know how I get back to the normal, just on. This is apparently speed, it said. So you can make it faster or slower, is that what you're saying? Doesn't seem to work. I don't know what's going on there. Is it going faster or slower? Try this one, see if it goes faster. Okay, it does go faster or slower, and then you can slow it down again, and it makes it go really slow. So slow that you can't even see it. There we go, there it is. Okay, look, it, I'd like to get back to the one where it's just on. Is that just on? That's just on, there we go, that's what I want it on. But yeah, that, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Honestly, like, it's not bad. Anyway, I've typed some stuff on here. Let's see, what are we gonna type? Uh, hello every, 
I definitely can't type on this keyboard, everybody. This is a new keyboard from Timu.com and it's actually nowhere near as bad as I thought it would be. In fact, I am pleasantly surprised. I forgot what I was going to write then. It, <laughs> right, um, it, it sounds how weird. I've just realised if you have two keyboards plugged in and you press the caps lock on one, the caps lock light on the other one lights up. That's new to me. I've never had two keyboards plugged into the same computer before. Um, I, honestly, I'm surprised. I'm actually surprised. Like, I don't know what to say, because it's, it's actually good. For three pound, it's ridiculous. Like, for three pound, this is, that's madness. That you can get that for three pound, like, that beats any keyboard that you can buy normally for like 20 pound. Like if you're buying like a membrane keyboard for like up to 20 pound, probably more, that's better. Like I'm not kidding, that's better. Any office keyboard you ever used, anything like that, this is a ridiculous upgrade. Actually ridiculous, like it's actually good. I'm, my mind is blown, I'm not even joking. Like it's, it doesn't feel anywhere near like, as premium, this keyboard, my old keyboard's like a big metal backplate in it and everything, you know, like it's solid, it's a beast, like, um, it's disgusting, but it's great, right, it was a great keyboard, um, and I, I'm, I'm lost for words, I'm actually lost for words, like it, for three pound, even for 20 pound, like the original price before the discount price, it's actually good. It's actually good. Like, for me to see if I could get on with one, a US layout keyboard, because all of the good keycaps and stuff for mechanical keyboards tend to be US layout, right? Unless you spend an absolute fortune. And two, because I wanted to see if I could get on with a small keyboard, which I think if I get a 65%, I probably can. Um, it's. It's good. The, the own, look, it's not light. Like, it's look, it's probably it's, it's fucking light compared to my old one. Like, like the old one feels super heavy all of a sudden, but it it stays still okay. Like on the desk, do you know what I mean? Like it's not flying around anywhere. If I tap it, um, when it's on a desk mat, it's fine. It's got rubber feet on the bottom. Um, the only thing that I can say is not good is that sound, like, or that too. Oh, hang on, no. The cable was pressing another. I thought it just started typing on its own. This cable was pressing onto a, ke a button on the other keyboard. Um, what does the layout do, right? It still gives me pounds here, and it still gives me the at sign here. So even though, but then I'm missing a key, right? Am I? Where am I missing a key? I'm missing a key beside the Z, aren't I? And that's up here now. So hash is here. Okay, the layout's weird. It's kept at a UK layout though, like the pound is on the three and the at sign is next to the, the enter button, which is normally hash for us, but it, it's not. Now, I don't know what the layout is because it's not right, um, but it's not bad. Um, it's kept the pound on the three, which is cool, and the at sign here, which would have confused the shit out of me, right? So, yeah, it's... Honestly, the only bad thing about it, apart from not being a really expensive mechanical keyboard, it's made of plastic, do you know what I mean? The, the obvious stuff that you'd expect for this price is the sound. Like, I don't know if you can hear it, but... Hopefully it's picking up on the microphone, it's probably not, but it's got this like metallic ring to it. Like, 
when you press it, the sound of the actual keyboard, the, the key presses is fine, it's, it's fine, but every time you press it, there's like this metallic ringing sort of sound. It's like going ding, 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 ding. That's the pitch of it. Bing, 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 bing. Like, it's a weird ringing sound. Like, my old keyboard didn't have that. It was way more clicky though, because it was blues, right? Um, I found out what I needed to know from it. It's, look. If you've never used a mechanical keyboard before and you buy this for £3 and it's your first mechanical keyboard, you are going to be like amazed. You're going to be like, oh my actual God, how in the world can a keyboard be this good and only cost £3? You're going to be actually amazed. I'm not even joking. Like, If you've got a really expensive mechanical keyboard, like this is going to probably feel trash, right? But honestly, compared to that, it's not bad. The red switch... Red switches, oh my god, linear switches. Oh, what a luxury to have again, because um, I didn't have those. But, yeah, I don't know what more to say about it. Like, mind blown, it's actually okay. Like, it's actually good. There's a weird sound to it. I'm very curious to find out if somehow we could mod it and get rid of that ringing sound, and then it'd be even better. But for real, like... Apart from no arrow keys, right, which is weird, like, it works fine, though. Like, the arrow keys are not a problem. They do what you want them to do, but you just have to hold function as well, right? It's a bit strange. You could definitely get used to it, I suppose. Um, no function key. Like, I love the tiny size, though. Um, yeah, so for me personally, I think 65% is probably what I'm going to end up going for when I get a proper keyboard, but I'm not even joking. I can use that, like, I could use it, I'm not mad about it, like, the sound might get a bit annoying, but, it's, it's probably not as bad as you think, it's the, it's the coming back up actually is what does it, it's when you let go of the key, the press is okay, it's pretty solid, and then when you let go, dun. any mechanical keyboard experts out there, let me know what that is, like, do you know what I mean, is it, is it the switches? Is it, like, I'm gonna take a switch off actually and just have a look at it with the fancy keycap pulling tool. If I can get it under them. Apparently not. Apparently the keycap pulling tool is not pulling very well. Okay, these keycaps do not wanna come off. And this is, is gouging up the keycaps. Like, what is going on with that? Do they even come off? They must come off, right? Okay, that, don't use this. This is, like wrecked the fuck out of a keycap already. Um, don't use this. This is janky and sharp and just bad, right? But I think it's the springs. Right? I think it's the springs. Now, I don't know. I can't tell. I don't know enough to know if it's hot swappable or not. Like, I know. Like, don't think so, but I don't know. I've never, I've never tried to pull a keycap out before. Like I'm not really worried about destroying it because it costs three pounds, right? Just get a new one, but it fucking is. It actually fucking is. It's hot swappable. It's <laughs> the keycaps feel empty and hollow. Okay, so look, the switch is not making that sound on its own, so it's not the switch. It's hot swappable. It's only got two pins, all right, which I think normal hot swappable keyboards have three or five. I'm not an expert, like I say, but I think they do. But if you need to replace a key, because the switch goes, stops working, you actually can. It's hot swappable.
Now I've got to see if I can actually get that back in there and make it work again. Do you just press it in? I've never taken a key off a keyboard before, so I don't know how we meant to do it. I've taken keycaps off before. Does it still work? Still works. Amazing. I'm amazed. It's hot swappable. It's two pin hole hot swappable, whatever that means. I don't know what switches that means you can use. I don't know what other switches have two pins because I've only heard of three and five, so that's new to me. But it's hot swappable too. Maybe this wasn't meant to be a keycap puller. Maybe this was only meant to be a, a switch puller. Maybe that's why it gouged the fuck out of the keys. Is there a keycap puller in with the keys? No. I don't know. These red, I wouldn't use these red keys at all. I don't like them. Might be for somebody. They're like a dark red color. Not for me. Anyway, I've been rambling enough. Hope you enjoyed the video, people. Don't be afraid to try it, if, especially if you've not got a good mechanical keyboard. Um, if you need a keyboard cheap, it's going to be fine for you. And if you've never used a mechanical keyboard before, this will show you why it's worth buying a better one, if you know what I mean. Like, it's like a stopgap, do you know what I mean? Or if you want to just test out a different layout or something, like, honestly, it cost me £3 and I'm... You can't buy anything for £3. You can buy two cans of Monster. I, look, if you've never watched my videos before, I have an addiction and I measure everything in how many cans of Monster I could have bought. That's two cans of Monster, not even. It came to actually like, I was saying three pound the whole video, it was two pound 80 something. Shocked, amazed, impressed. Um, I'm gonna try and use it. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna get rid of this sticky old keyboard and try and use it to try and get used to the layout and figure out, can I actually get used to using a 60%? Maybe I can. And the American layout. I think I probably can. I think I probably can. It's not that bad. Especially if you can keep it with the pounds on the freeze uh, in Windows, then I don't think that would be a big deal. My biggest worry was not having a pound sign, right? Like a, not a pound as in a hash, like a pound as in a Great British pound credit of the imperial realm pound do you know what i mean um shocked and honestly i'm i'm impressed like fucking hell i wonder what this other stuff is like obviously a lot of that stuff is stuff that can't go wrong that's why i picked it because i was like velcro straps how do you get that wrong rubber blocks that stick on a desk and hold wires how do you get that wrong um you can't right but the led strips i'm now curious about that like what other delights does timu have do you want more videos of me buying stuff from Timu? Because I'm, I might spend too much money. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Let me know if you're an expert, if you've got any recommendations of how I can fix that ringing sound. But for three pound, honestly, you can't complain, right? Even if you just used it as a decoration. They do a few different colors. Um, they do blue or red switches. Um, just get red. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, thank you for watching people. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, more stuff like this coming up soon, like, um, when I first ever started YouTube on a different channel that I hope nobody ever finds, I reviewed gaming peripherals and headsets and PC related stuff, and the more I get involved in this side of things, the more I realise that that's like, I, like, I love gaming and playing games and streaming and all that sort of stuff, right? Streaming is my favorite, but the thing I love about games, and I think putting the new graphics card in my computer the other day reignited it. The thing I love about gaming is the PC, not necessarily the gaming. Do you see what I mean? Like, I do, I, lo I love gaming, I'm, I'm a gamer, but the PC that enables the gaming is maybe like here and the gaming is maybe a little bit below it. So perhaps there'll be more videos of this sort of stuff coming soon, I don't know. Um, I'm just doing what I want to do on the channel now, right? If you love it, you love it. If you don't, you don't. Um, I'm sorry, but don't have to watch it, right? Thank you for hanging out, people. You're all awesome and I will see you really soon. Stay bandproof. Peace.